Hello friends, great to see you once again. Pastor Pete here. It's time for Coffee with Pete. Today's Wednesday, the 27th of December, 2023. This will be our final final gathering, Coffee with Pete for the year 2023. And, uh, and of course, then it makes sense to kind of look forward into the next year. Uh, but I think every time we get together, we're looking forward. And so, uh, at any rate, grab your coffee, uh, get your Bible open, Psalm 100 today, going to briefly just... Uh, very brief psalm, four or five verses. Uh, we'll read it, and I want to point out something really significant that can be useful today and into the future. Let's read it first. Of all. I'll open up to Psalm 100. I'm reading in the uh, English Standard Version, but it really pays to read this one in a lot of different translations. But here we go. Uh, psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he's God. It is he who made us and we're his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Really briefly, I just want to point out to you that... Um, this psalm is about as plain a uh, set of verses as you might find in the Bible. And what it's got is, uh, I think it's got seven commands and two motivations. And so really what it lays out for us is, is a little bit of, well, a whole lot actually that you can build on and, and structure your life around actually. Some of the, a lot of the who, the how, and the why of being in a relationship with God. So the how is the seven commands. And they're right there, right there in front of us. It says, first of all, make a joyful noise. Uh, some translations say, shout to the earth. Make a joyful noise. Shout. Secondly, it talks about, it says, serve the Lord with gladness. Now, in some translations, again, this word serve, it really means worship. And, and uh, that's why we call our church Meetings oftentimes are called church services, or church worship. <coughs> we're giving to God. When we serve others, when we, we're worshiping, when we worship God, we're serving. So they're, they're interchangeable. But okay, first, make a joyful noise, shout. Second of all, serve the Lord with gladness, that is worship. Third, come into his presence with singing. So the first three commands, shout, worship, come. Come into God's presence. The fourth one, the fourth uh, how we are to be in relationship with God is, is really the pivot point of these seven. And, it, and, it, and it, it's, it's a fulcrum upon which all of them hang and balance. And it says in verse three, know the Lord. Know that the Lord, know that the Lord, he is God. Know that the Lord is God. Know. So we have shout, serve, come, and know the fifth one is, enter his gates, verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And this sixth one, give thanks to him, bless his name. That's the seventh one, bless his name. So the seven, again, seven commands for how we are to be in relationship with God. Make a joyful noise, serve the Lord, come into his presence, know the Lord is good, Enter his gates with thanksgiving, give thanks to him, and bless his name. And bless being a form of praising his name, and not so much because you like the sound of his name, but more so that his name tells us who he is. It tells us a lot about him. So those are seven commands, how we are to be in relationship. Now, why would be the two motivations that are also in this psalm, the two motivations. Uh, verse 3 says know that the says it says know the Lord is good that's one of our our uh, commands then it says it is he who made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture so that's one of the motivations is that he made us and we're his people and then in verse five the second motivation it says for the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. 
his he's good just that's a motivation enough to, to, to want to worship and praise and be in relationship with him we want to be connected with what is good and god's love is everlasting it's enduring he's faithful so then so we have the in terms of relationship with god we have the the how and the why but look at what it says about the who because psalms originally psalms were written to god's people god's nation god's chosen people israel the jews and so but what we have here it's really interesting in verse one we go all the way back to verse one it says make a joyful noise to the lord all the earth god is declaring in this psalm that that all of us every single one of us this is the this is a foreshadowing of what he was a, was going to do when he sent his son so he was making a way and he wanted the entire earth and all who were in it to come forth and have a relationship with him. Every single one of us were meant for intimate relationship with God. And then what we have in, in the beginning, we have that we're the people of his pasture, meaning that he makes provision for us and guidance for us and, and cares for us and, and brings us along. But then secondly, when we are invited into his courts, we were invited into the worship place, the intimate relationship place that was had been reserved. Now all of us are invited in there. We're now family. And so we are the who. You're the who. And and again, I would encourage you to just read over this Psalm 100 again and again and, and, uh, and appreciate and enjoy how God has given us an invitation and a declaration of wanting relationship with us, with, with you, and then telling you how to go about doing that and, and giving you clear evidence, clear declaration of why that would be uh, worthwhile pursuing. I bless you today, friends, and I bless you going into the new year as you maybe make some goals or reflect on the past. Use a Psalm 100 as a framework for how you're going to set your course for the coming days. God bless you, friends, in Jesus' name. Amen.